So, Venu decide in this video, I am explaining. Usually, RDS instance, if, if you are unable to connect only three reasons, only three reasons, usually this communication link error, if you get, what is that meaning? It is something with many reasons, it is unable to connect uh, MySQL instance. That is that means. What are the common reasons? Let me explain. First step, username and password. That is first step. Please check carefully. Okay, if you want to know, is it correct or not? 3305 he mentioned. Okay, but that's not correct. 3306. If you want to know that information, there are many reasons. Let me explain. Here, go to your RDS instance. In that RDS instance, here, sorry, here, endpoint. What is the port number? 3306. 3306. First one, here, yeah, use 3306. Second one, please check. I mean, first one only, this is end point you have. End point means this is nothing but a post name. Post name. Post name. So, <coughs> post name. If you have space, remove that. Okay, username, password, I think you know that. Please test it. Test means still you are unable to connect. I know that. Why? One more biggest mistake. This is called public accessibility. Public accessibility. Public accessibility must be known. It is in a no. At the time you are unable to connect. In this scenario, what are you doing? In this scenario, click this one and modify. Click this modify. Monitor. At the time, to forget your modify password, just enter that, enter that password. Okay. Similarly, my recommendation. here additional information you have okay click this additional interface public accessibility you have to choose that that is main important mean why you are unable to connect this that is public accessibility must be yes okay second one second one here you are taking backup. I don't recommend to take a backup. If you take backup, you get too much bill. This is recommendation only. Okay. Next, what happened? So public accessibility. Finally, click this connection. Okay. Next, apply immediately. You are modifying that public accessibility to yes. That is the first, that is the main reason. Okay, next. Next, if you set, uh, it will take few seconds to change this way. Within this time, second reason why you are unable to, third reason, sorry, first reason, either port number or database name, uh, by the way, host name, followed by database name. Where is the database name located? There is a configuration. He, okay, here he is not mentioned any DB name. Please check. There is no DB name. There is no, this is username, my user. But there is no database. Notice. So, DB name. It is, I think he forgot to choose that DB name. Okay, still, still it is unable to connect. Why? If it is able to connect, okay. If still unable to connect, 
in this scenario my recommendation go to secure tip to it will change just now you modified no it will take uh, ttl there is a time to live down it will take two seconds within this and there is a third reason why you are unable to connect first reason port number and spaces etc etc second reason second reason public access must be less the third reason it is security group. one of the main 99 percent this is the only reason click control and click on this security group you will get one more time in the tab click that now there is the inbound group edit inbound group this is a highly recommendable instead of something something port number i recommend use 0, 0, 0, 0. at that time anyone able to access traffic. anyone able to access that's why that is the second third reason so now go to rds go to rds okay i think now refresh still it is modifying the main reason just now you updated public key etc etc no? so that's it just a few seconds okay if it is a modification everything completed then then public accessibility change to yes if it is changed into yes then you are able to come to without any problem okay just a few seconds Just uh, still, it is modifying, you know. Just to modify your uh, public access. Uh, now modification now please check it is available if it is available now please check click this is it changing to yes public change changing to yes now verify now verify again test test means is it able to connect up now congratulations it's correct so and click this and unfortunately you forgot to create a default database at the time what are you doing if you are doing first time my recommendation create one more data right click here add a tab create a database maybe krishna db like that run at the time please check left hand side to refresh Krishna DBA. Okay, my recommendation once again reconnect and practice. Here, after 3306, slash, enter your database and save. Now, click OK. Don't forget to click auto commit as well, just under password. Now, do it everything here, like I click create table, table name, etc. etc. Okay, only these three reasons maybe url or port or database wrong inputs second one okay public accessibility third one security groups only these three reasons you are unable to be check one or two times okay if you have any doubts, comment below. I will find a lot of questions.